The next question is explain with neat diagram the working of JK flip flop and derive its characteristic equation. Okay, so this is a question from August September 2020. So what is given? Given you have to find out uh, working. You have to draw uh, the diagram and working of a JK flip flop. So you know that JK flip flop is the modification of your SR flip flop, right? Where J uh, will be similar to that of S and K will be similar to that of R. J is set and k is equivalent to your reset and uh, so you know that the modification of your jk flip-flop is in the case that uh, the last case where j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 or where s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 in the previous uh, sr flip-flop it was undefined in jk it is defined that is it takes the toggle state that is the only difference between your jk flip-flop and your sr flip-flop so first what what will be your block diagram of your jk flip-flop let me give the block diagram it consists of two inputs one input is j and the other input is k okay and other uh, input to the system will be your clock signal okay so uh, the output will be q okay the complement of it will be q dash or you can take it as q bar so this is going to be your jk flip-flop so it is nothing but your extension of your sr flip-flop okay flip-flop where s will be equivalent to your j and r will be equivalent to your k okay so the truth table only the difference is in the last state that is your toggle state now what will be your characteristic equation your truth table and your characteristic sorry characteristic table And equation and your truth table so what will be your truth table okay so I can take the characteristic characteristic equation truth table you have two inputs one is J and K now you are going to give the present state and the next state next state is taken as Q plus okay so this will be your next state and Q will be your present state and jk will be your inputs okay so let me write the combination 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so why did you write like this because for each cases you have the present state can be 0 or 1 when jk is equal to so this will be one state 0 0 0 1 one zero one one so your present state can be zero and one now you are going to find out what will be your next state so when j is equal to uh, so you know that let me write the simple form zero 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 one one zero one one so what will be your q there will be no change first condition if k is equal to one that is it is equivalent to your r right if reset then q is equal to zero if j is equal to one it is set so q is equal to 1 and 1 1 means it is toggle so this is your simple form of your truth table so same thing you are going to extend it here now 0 0 what will be your output there will be no change right so whatever is the q that will be your q plus okay 0 1 so this will be there will be no change this is a condition 0 1 0 sorry 0 1 0 1 your output can be q uh, 0 or 1 so what will be your uh, change when it is 0 1 when the input is 0 1 the output is going to be 0. So no matter what is the present state your output if k is equal to 1 if reset that is if k is equal to 1 your output will be equal to 0. So this is the condition where q is equal to 0. See here when j is equal to 1 k is equal to 0. So no matter the condition of the present state what will if j is equal to 1 obviously the q is going to be equal to 1 okay so the next state will be equal to 1 so the last condition what will be the condition it will toggle so the present state is equal to 0 then what will be the next state it will be 1 if it is 1 the present state is 1 the next state is going to be 0 so this will be your toggle condition okay so this is in short how you are writing your characteristic table so from this characteristic table the last uh, one what you are going to draw is your timing diagram so what will be your timing diagram so in the example uh, what trigger uh, triggering uh, clock clock is activated during the positive trigger right there is no bubble okay so let me take the clock 
so this is going to be your clock where the clock is your positive triggered clock so this will be your clock signal so always during the rising edge it will be triggered okay now if i take j let me proceed with the same question which is given in your textbook so this is your j you can take any combination k so if this is your j and this is your k what is uh, happening what will be your output now during the rising edge what are the different values you have so here this is where you will be getting your change right so if this is your q output is q what will be your rising during the first rising edge first clock pulse what what is a value you are getting j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 so when j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 your q is equal to 1 so here the q is equal to 1 so it will go till your next rising edge this rising edge j is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 if j is equal to 0 then what is happening your q will go to 0 so here it is going to 0 next triggering pulse j is equal to 1 k is equal to 0 again it will go to 1 so you can take any combination so let me take your case 1 what was the condition j is equal to 1 k is equal to 0 therefore your output q will be equal to 1 second clock what is the condition j is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 therefore q is equal to 0 so you can consider any case and you can give your timing diagram so this is your working principle of your jk flip now, the next step is to derive the characteristic equation from this table okay so i can write that q plus is equal to wherever you have one what is your equation here you have one right so what is the value j dash j dash k dash k dash and q okay plus what is where is the next one here you have so j k dash q dash j k dash q dash plus what is the next one j k dash and q plus last one j k q q dash j k q dash okay so from this can i take k dash q as common k dash q if i take it as common i can take here j dash plus here j dash q as common so j plus what is the next parameter i can take j q dash i can take as common right j q dash as common so what you will be getting k dash plus k so you know that complement uh, j plus j dash is equal to 1 so what will be your characteristic equation q plus is equal to k dash q plus j q dash since this equal to both will be equal to 1 so this will be your characteristic equation